the Prophet وسلم, he was nice. He was very nice. Allah tells him, لو كنتم فضلاً غليظ القلب لنفضوا من حولك. Allah says, what could mean? If you were hard and tough and shadeed, severe on them, they would have ran away from you. I warn the young people or the immature older people, when you learn about the sunnah, don't shove it down people's mouths. One of the worst things that's happening now is that people are learning the sunnah and trying to jam it down other people's mouths. Remember that you didn't know something yesterday and you just learned it today. And be gentle. The Prophet ﷺ, he was nice. He was cool, so we said. People enjoyed to be around him. And because they enjoyed to be around him, it was easy for them to accept things from him. The Prophet ﷺ, he told us, Yassiru wa la tu'assiru. He said, facilitate, don't complicate. Bashiru wa la tu'nafiru. Be inclusive and don't push people away. This is the thing that's killing. You, then we say to people, oh, you don't want the sunnah. You're against the sunnah. No, they're against your ugly attitude. They're against your poor manners. We, the people of the Sunnah, have to present the whole Sunnah in a beautiful way. And Allah, because a person opined against his will, is still yet of the same opinion still. So if you force someone, you out-talk them, they don't believe you, they just want you to shut up. They just want to get away from you. And they will avoid you. But if you are facilitating, making it easy, allowing people and respecting people's intellect, that they have the ability to think for themselves, and all you have to do is show and help, again, facilitate, then people will then begin to consider what you're saying to them and make the necessary changes they deem necessary and everybody walks along his own path and certain things are more important to some than other it's not you remember nefsi 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 worry about yourself alaykum anfusakum Allah tells us in the Quran focus on you so many times we men we come to the khutbah and then at the end of the khutbah, or at the end of reading some book, or studying some course, we say, did you hear what the sheikh said about them? You see how he blasted them? You see where Allah is talking about them? And he never sees himself as part and parcel of the whole structure of da'wah. So the believer is not like that. Mmm. -hmm.